Last night, as you were suffering through the trauma of your landfall, I understood you to say you were the Minister of Meridian. But I've met Tauros. I'm his daughter. My father died very recently. I am Minister now. Mariah, the Minister of Acacia, was so welcoming. The people were all so kind. They made me want to stay there forever. The city seemed as warm as the dyes Acacia is known for. I know better now. Yeah. So, a ship from Meridian brought you here? No, a ship from Catador. I was staying with my uncle Elon, but I'm on my way home now. I've never been to a surface city before. Then you must have a full tour. Weaver's Guild. We're not rich like Catador, but our dyes keep us prosperous in our own way. Little commerce happens here. We're dependent on the trade ships. Is your Uncle Elon the same Elon who is Minister of Catador? Yes, that's him. Hmm. As you know, the surface is more treacherous than the Sky Cities. But we of Acacia have forged a balance between danger and value. We float like your cities, but not on rocks. We keep our ancient connection to the ground. The cataclysm may have poisoned the land, but those same toxins act as mordants for our dyes. Isn't it dangerous? Somewhat, but all work poses some danger. The rewards are many. Since our own birth rates are low, we are even able to take in foundling children from all over Demetria. My family does that. We've always given a home to orphans. When we talked about the orphans, my stomach lurched. Papa's death meant that word now included me. Trade with the loggers to the east nets us raw lumber. Our woodworkers do the lovely inlay work we're known for and oversee the perpetual reconstruction of Acacia. I know you must be eager to return to Catador. Your uncle misses you, no? I don't think so. He knew I was going home. By now, he knows I'm safe. Reconstruction, you said? Constant. The ground prematurely ages the wood, so we must keep building new zones while preparing to abandon others. We make sure there's always a home for every occasion. Most of our citizens worked in the dye factories. Catador is cold, despite its riches. Acacia has a humble beauty, but the stench. I was curious about her city, but so lonely for Meridian. There's no way to balance the equation? Build structures that withstand the erosion? The decaying zones are not beautiful, but it's more cost efficient to keep building than to shore up the parts that have decayed. We must always move forward and abandon the past. Acacia pales next to Catador, but it is our home, and the Minister of Meridian is welcome to stay here for as long as it takes her to rest from her grueling journey. Please, think of this as your home. Thank you. That's so kind. How could we do less for a special visitor from... Catador? Jad! So is the little Dakarty! Hey, Jadling, welcome to Catador Port. Avi, don't call me. So, what's the news from home? I hear it's bad. The Catadors have taken over Meridian and everybody's gone to ground? Avi, are you implying that I would know anything about any escape plan? Oh, yeah, right. Your dad's only the closest thing we've got to a general there. You may be young, but you're not stupid. Spill. The Council and most everybody who wanted are moving on, leaving Meridian. I'm here to get Sefi and bring her along. Leaving Meridian? It's that bad? Dad, my contract's up soon and I was wanting to go home. I'm sorry, Abby. It's not a good idea right now. You could meet us at... Shh! Walls have ears. Watch your back and your mouth while you're in Catador, Dad. They think Elon's a hero here. This route comes out topside. Keep to the shadows, Jadling. We stand out in this big city. I'll keep an eye on your skyship. Keep it ready to leave when you get back. Good luck! Avi, all I've got to do is sneak onto Elon's private island. How hard could that be? Look, it begins. The time of vision. The shifting of inevitabilities favors the red once again. 
I see it so. Yes, Lorisi. Minister Elon, I may have... I have... May I have... Good point, Lorisi. Come to it quickly. The woman I spoke to you of yesterday, she's here now. But I will, of course, send her away. Not a good time. Absolutely not. Send her in. I keep my word and my appointment. <laughs> good. I admire that in my teacher. Greetings, Ilan, Minister of Kadador. I am Risha Taramu of Arud. Word of your business acumen has brought me here from the far side of Demetria to learn at the side of the only man in this world who has something to teach me. You have no heir. Your knowledge needs a point of transfer to future generations. You'll find that I make an ideal vessel for your successful philosophies of business. So you have simply decided to adopt me as your mentor. How admirable. Two winds spin together to make a fearful storm. Two fates entwine into one future. The Minister of Cardador hides the loss of an heir with a matching soul. Although the heir is not as lost as he imagined. Why are they running? Oh no. To high ground. Quickly. Zilanag! They're feral toxin dwellers. But it's daylight. Hurry. We must stay to the good areas. No, Sappy. This way. But look! Realization of the danger posed by the monsters of Acacia reached my brain too late. My heart had already gone out to the child caught in its path. I'd never been fearful. Papa even described me as reckless. Seppi, no! We can't lose you! You won't! But the feeling that hit me, seeing that boy in danger, the sudden fire inside me came from someplace new. Jump! And there was nothing that was going to stop me from saving him. Suddenly, I was more than Seppi. I was a mythic goddess of protection. While I was filled with life and strength, no other lives would be lost. No matter what kind of monsters I had to face. For an instant, I thought I'd reached a perfect understanding of why I'd been given the sign of power. A vision that slipped out of my head and the decaying boards under my feet gave way. And I felt my confidence drop down past my feet into the pit. Until I spotted Selenog's cold eyes below. No snarly-faced toxin liquor was going to stop me. This time, when I made it happen, I was aware of the power coming from me. I could feel the fibers repairing themselves as I forced it all whole again. The monster couldn't break through good wood, so I poured everything I had inside into creating an avenue of escape. One step ahead of the monster. How many? Three? And in daylight. They're getting bolder. The attack left me thrilled at the potential of my new power and ready to sleep for a week. Thank you. But why? How? I just did what was right to do. It also left me feeling I'd grown two heads and a furry tail the way they all stared. Ring City in sight. We'll make port within the hour. Looks like they've sent out a greeter ship with its sails set for maximum speed. They're in a darn hurry. Hope it isn't bad news. Hello, plane sails. You're for Meridian, right? We heard all about what happened to Seppi. Elon sent messengers to all the cities. No one's to give her any assistance. And the mouthpieces didn't come alone. Since we're the closest to Meridian, they sent a squad of Catadorian soldiers to keep us honest. They're all over the city, keeping the peace. Nothing like the way I hear they did on your island, but we're keeping careful. Since we always promised to have you, we'd never turn you away. But Ring City can't risk taking in Meridianites right now. So we need to hide you in plain sight. 
Quick change of sails. Makes you some of our own coming home. But we're from Meridian. We don't mark our sails. Our sails are still unmarked, lad. They're just being hidden so our sterns stay unmarked also. But Mira, it's wrong. Sometimes the world goes wrong in us. Maybe right now we must hide who we are. But that doesn't mean we'll forget. I'm losing patience, Minister Mariah. How far into the wasteland are you dragging us? Not much further. I thought the counselors of Acacia deserved proof of my wild story. Here. So it's true. Oh, I didn't realize. Forgive my complaining, Minister Mariah. This is stunning. The girl let things slip in her delirium last night. No ship brought her. Sethi of Meridian fell from the air and did not die. This was witnessed by Elon's soldiers, so Elon must believe her dead. Does that have something to do with this rejuvenation? Yes, she did it. You saw what she did against the Selenog. I brought you out here to advise me in a decision. Do we entice Sethi to stay? Keep the girl in Acacia hidden or send a messenger to Catador? Keep her. If Elan believes her dead, he'll never look for her here. We simply fail to notify. Cheating Elan's a danger. If his spies ever discover her, trade ships could skip our port. Don't forget his blockade of Segan or what he's threatening to do to Torbell. Let it fall. Elon is ruthless, limitless, and driven. Sephi crossed him. If she's discovered, we share her punishment. But if she stays willingly, we share her gift. If she's not found, we gain time to strengthen alliances. Use her to match Catador's might. Keep the girl here and happy. By the time Elon does sniff her out, she'll be ours. There's no better choice. The girl is Elon's heir. She inherits Meridian and Cadador. Stop. I ask for your counsel. But none of you is looking past the immediate gain. You are wrong. We have no leverage with Elon. Cadador's wealth is a thousand times ours, and a trade embargo would kill us. What we do, what we must do, is send a messenger to Cadador immediately. Isn't it better to draw his attention to us and allow him to reward us for keeping his niece safe? By quietly letting him know her location. Meanwhile, Sefi will remember our kindness to her, and Acacia gains two powerful allies. I'd love to keep her. I see the benefits. But I see a bigger danger we cannot so easily catch and control. You're right. Send the messenger. Turning the girl over turns this to our favor. By the time the messenger returns with Elon's instructions... There's no keeping secrets from Elon. Elon won't send a message. He'll come for her himself. Until then, let's graciously accept everything Sefi can do for us until he arrives. She created this beauty. And did something to fend off the Selenog. I don't think she realizes the power she wields. Let's encourage her to discover her limits soon. Turning the day upside down, I slept the day and woke to a surprisingly new sunset. On the surface, the daylight just stops at the end of day. On Meridian, the rim sunset is followed by a corona of last light that encircles us from below. Seeing something so ordinary be so different made me really see it again. It's like that with a lot of things. You look at them all the time and never see. Like Uncle Elon. Sunset had never been more to me than a cue to go home. But that night, it became a living symbol of my promise to Meridian. Elon of Catador would not destroy my island. I'd do something good for the people of Acacia to repay them for their kindness. But then it was time for me to go home 
and start a war. <laughs>